Well, I'm, I'm not going to give uh, numerical uh, estimates here, but it's going to get worse in the weeks ahead. There's no question about it. Um, the effects of the pandemic and the mitigation that's required to uh, end it uh, are taking a huge toll. We are in a contractionary point. Um, we have not seen the worst of it. I don't want to sugarcoat it. And that's why we have created the largest rescue package in history. And if we need to do more, we will do more to answer that other point. If we need to do more, we will. The president has said that. We use every power and authority in the federal government to help folks through this. This is temporary, you know, but I know temporary can be very painful. I understand that. How are you? Sorry. I would just say generally the whole pandemic and its consequences have come on exponentially faster than frankly anybody dreamed possible. I will acknowledge the facts on the ground. Um, those numbers and those hardships are going to get worse before they get better. I, that's an acknowledgement and that's why we're trying to do what we're going to do. And then I'll just again say this is temporary. This is a matter of weeks and months. It's not a question of years. One of the things that President Trump has done uh, is involve the private sector in ways that have never been done before in a crisis like this. You know, you recall, I guess it was 12 days, two weeks ago in the Rose Garden, you had the CEOs of Walmart and Target uh, and other distributors, sales outlets, biotech companies, and banks, heaven forbid, but the president has used, but here's my point, the president has used the private sector more than any, more than has happened in any other crisis period. And I think that has helped it, and I think it will speed it to a positive conclusion. These people, those free enterprise folks are real smart, and I know they're going to be glitches, I get that. Um, but they're real smart, and they are helping us enormously. 